John with Charles here on the final day, day six of our trip to the Round Top Antique Show. If you missed an episode, links to all of them are in the description below. Also, if you like videos like this, make sure to hit like and subscribe so we can keep making these videos. All the places we visit or mention today are also in the description. Today was the opening of the Marburger Farm Antique Show in Round Top, and we were there early for their VIP early access, along with so many, many others. The parking for this event is so huge that they actually had drivers taking people from the lot to the event area. This is another all day event or more. This venue featured over 225 vendors across over six huge tents and several outdoor buildings. There was also plenty of food and drink on site, live music, and even a UPS store there if you needed help to ship your treasures home. And the show featured a lot of what you'd expect to find at these kind of shows. Yeah, we saw a lot of chandeliers, a lot of European furniture, sculptures, vases, this particular guy had a lot of vintage gumball machines and soda machines, uh, which were a very delightful thing to see in here as a large collection that he had. Here's a bunch of coral. I saw a bunch of coral out there, both natural and dyed coral of different types. I saw instruments, old books. Again, a lot of the stuff you'd expect to see at an event like this, just so much of it. Uh, one vendor had. Uh, many, many pieces of china. And there was a very large amount of paintings here. Uh, they had, so far from what I could uh, tell, they had the largest collection of paintings. Uh, they had a large collection of furniture in almost every single tent you went in. Some tents even had just furniture, and that was all that they had. Right, but the big thing that we saw here over and over and over again was silver so much silver, it seemed like everybody was selling silver. This was the event to get your silver from. Uh, so many vendors selling it and so many really high quality pieces. Look at this, we have just tables full of silver. It seemed like everywhere you turned, all you saw was silver. Yes, this particular vendor had a large amount of silver. It, it, was, it was massive, almost to the point it was overwhelming. Right. This vendor here, uh, I actually spent some time with. This is uh, McHale Silverware with uh, Michael and Gay McHale. Now they're out of Camarillo, California, but they'll ship everywhere and their information is down in the description. They had a huge amount of silverware, uh, but they actually also had some crystal. They were one of the few vendors that had crystal in their collection. And this was the vendor where I picked up my very first set of cut to clear pieces and we'll see those at the end of this video. They're a delightful couple and like I said, their information is down in the description below. Now, parking and exiting was an issue. There was one way in and one way out and it took us, what, nearly an hour yes. to leave the parking lot. So hopefully the event um, organizers will uh, straighten that out. But beyond that though, this really is an event to attend. But after that, we packed up all of our finds, loaded up the vehicle, and sadly, headed home. But wait, it's not over yet. We have a special extra episode coming to you tomorrow, so keep watching until the end of this episode to find out more. Meanwhile, let's take a look at what we brought home today. And this is actually the smallest uh, haul that we've taken home over the entire event. But of course, this was also the shortest day for us. We only uh, managed to visit uh, one new place and then we actually did go back and visit another. Now, what you see there uh, in those crystal is the two pieces that I was talking about in the video. That's the two cut to clear, my very first ever cut to clear. And uh, I think they're beautiful. And Charles looked them up and what did you find out about them? They are Bohemian crystal and they're about four and a half inches tall, and they are red wine glasses. So, so small, but they're red wine glasses, and they have extremely good cut quality. They're very pretty, and I'm sure that once we get them into our uh, lighted cabinet, they're gonna look amazing. Uh, there's the detail on that one. I just, I love them, and I'm so happy that I'm starting to, to uh, collect the, the cut to clear, um, which is something that I was on the fence about, and now that I've got my first pieces, I can't wait to collect more. And then you went back over to Blue Hill 
to visit our friends at uh, Lily and Kelly. Yeah, I decided that I wanted to get one of the Ironstone China pitchers since I've been noticing them the entire time we've been uh, looking around. And this piece is an Imperial Ironstone China pitcher by Richard Allclock. It's a very pretty piece. And now we have that to add to our collection. Now, as I said during the video, we do have a special extra episode coming to you. Tomorrow, we are going to be showing you everything that we took home from all the venues that we visited over all six days. So every product we purchased, we'll be going over them in detail, showing you the items and telling you uh, what we found out about them, how much we paid for them, and what they're actually worth, which has surprised us. So make sure you stick around to see that. Also tomorrow, we'll be presenting our list for newbies like us of tips for those who are attending uh, their first antique festival. Uh, we learned a lot and we'd like to share some of those tips with you. Again, if you like these kind of videos, please make sure to like and subscribe and be sure to come back tomorrow our special additional video. Thank you so much and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.